Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look. And today I'm with producer John Batsik, and we are talking his documentary film, Boom Boom, The World vs. Boris Becker. Let's take a first look. It starts from the beginning. Nobody told me to win Wimbledon 17. I just did it. Wimbledon champion Boris Becker. My game was power. Mental strength. That's how I would describe Boris. He was like Michael Jordan in Germany. Expectations in tennis world. Becoming a superstar in sports. You're now a wanted man. To pick a black woman as his wife was a big deal. In the German press, it was a black and white thing. When you step away from the game, you come into a completely different life. It's sort of walking into a dark room. She came in, she had a big coat on, and she took the coat off. She was heavily pregnant, which you can't believe it. The wake-up call came very late. Boris Becker is facing two and a half years in jail for hiding assets during bankruptcy. I've hit my, my bottom. That's not the end yet. There's going to be another chapter. Did you guys show this to him? Like, did you, did he, have you got his reaction from uh, watching the film? We showed him various cuts of the film as they were developing, you know, through the later stages of edit. And then he came to the premiere of the film at Berlin, at the Berlin Film Festival. So, yeah, he's seen it. He's seen it all. And, uh, you know, he's he's uh, he stands shoulder to shoulder with us, and um, you know, promoting the film. I was wondering if it, for you it looked like, wow, he's aged a lot to me because of the stress, maybe? of the stress of the stuff that he was going to. And I don't know if you felt that way. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and as you say, he, he, you know, in the last couple of years, he's had a very, very tough time fighting this, this the whole bankruptcy issue. And I think that's t taken its toll on him physically, or it took its toll on him physically. So yes, by the time we came to interview him again, which, which was a, a, only three days before he was sentenced in court, yeah, he had the weight of his of the world on his shoulders, and he, and he also, you know, it, it became very clear in our interview that he was that he understood that 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 this was a this was a, this was a you know a watershed moment for him, and it was highly likely to not go well, and and it showed in his physicality in his face, and and as it turned out, it showed in the interview because much to his surprise and to all of our surprise, he broke down in the in the interview in a way that I I could tell. Because of his reaction and his girlfriend, who was who was not that was who was watching from from a, a separate studio, I don't think Boris had ever broken down in his whole life, not on court or off court, in the way he did in the middle of our interview. I think that was reflected in in yeah how he looked and what he'd been carrying with him for quite some time. So one of the most amazing things that I thought about the doc or the movie too is that I didn't expect to see all the people that you guys got, and so then I was so then I started thinking about who you guys didn't get, you know, in terms of, um, you know, because you talked about like the great opponents and there's like uh, Stefan Edberg and there's like Yvonne Lendl and there's Agassi. And, but then you guys like have like Brad Gilbert, Michael Stieck, you have uh, Mats Wielander. You know, I mean, Wielander was like a, also a kind of an ally too. And like, especially like Novak being in there. So I was wondering if like, if there was, it was just like logistics sometimes for some of them or for some of them, it was just like, no, they don't want to participate. Well, first of all, most of the ones we got, we got thanks to Boris because Boris reached out to them and, you know, they all love Boris. And so that's how we got Borg. That's how we got Mac. That's how we got Matt. Alex, again, he didn't he didn't want to interview a vast number of players. He wanted to interview a, a small group. We did approach Ivan Landl and for various reasons he didn't want to do it. He said he'd done a whole bunch of interviews for a whole bunch of docs and he was kind of tired of doing it. We didn't interview. We didn't approach Edberg. We We... I think we tentatively reached out to Andre Agassi because, of course, it would be great to have him. But Andre, I think everyone knows, is quite reticent about taking part in documentaries. Um, so, so for the most part, the people we reached out to, we reached out to through Boris, and and that and that's certainly how we got Novak. Boom, boom! The world versus Boris Becker is streaming on Apple TV Plus now.